Hi everybody, my name is Lars Christensen and thank you for joining me for this video on Better Cat for Camp. This is part of a presentation I did last week at Autodesk University and I'm just going to do a tiny little portion of it here. So the portion from the presentation is where we can take uh, precision from our CAD and keep it all the way through uh, to make our part. Now in this video I'm going to use Inventor but you know it really doesn't matter what CAD system you're using uh, it's pretty much the same uh, idea. So let's jump into to the software here and I'm just going to open a new sketch and I am just going to start with the corner rectangle and I'm just going to sketch out a rectangle. I'm going to make it 200 by 200 so 200 tab 200 and I'm just going to extrude it out to a thickness here. So here we have a, a, a neat uh, a piece of stock. Now some of the manufacturing guys might be uh, looking at this a little weird and say wait a minute this plate here is uh, sitting on its side it's not laying flat and you many times can run into this when you are, are using CAD that you know in CAD we're not really thinking too much about that but many manufacturing guys when they're looking at a model they want to think about it the same way as it does uh, out of the machine now most CAD systems it's pretty easy to deal with this in Inventor we can just go to the view we want using the view cube and we can just right click and we can set that view as top and now I have just uh, kind of like laid that plate down but what I actually did was I didn't change the model what I did was I changed the view the way I was viewing it uh, so think about like you're looking through a camera on the model and I just changed the position so it looked right because when it comes to what is actually X Y and Z uh, we deal with that later on in our cam system but in the CAD we can just change that around so just a quick tip uh, if you're ever looking at a model and you're thinking that it's kind of like laying sideways or something like that. Now, um, when you're looking at what I've used here, the corner rectangle, if I turn on the three default planes, you will see that I kind of like push the block up against those planes. Now, if you are a CAD ninja and taking some CAD training, you might look at this and be like, wait a minute, this is not good for symmetry. Um, you know, when I took CAD classes, I learned how to mirror and, and, and use symmetry inside of your model. And that's true. But that's because in manufacturing, eh, symmetry is not really our biggest concern. What we are concerned about, though, is our datum or the zero zero. And I kind of established that right here. Uh, with pushing it up against these three planes, I have now established that that is going to be my zero zero corner. And I actually like to go in and open up a sketch and just create a little circle doesn't really matter what size and if I go in here and I right click on the sketch I can actually change the color to red now where I used to work uh, a red circle on the model meant this is where we pick up the part if you make that a habit that you always do that then there's never any you know mysteries about where this part is going to be picked up from and if you don't know where the part should be picked up and you have a machinist around go and ask him where would you pick this part up and establish the zero zero point uh, right there. I'm going to show you in a second why, but also now when you ever pull the guy into the computer, he automatically knows red, that means pickup. So make those kind of rules. Now I'm going to go in here and put a feature in, and I'm going to just blast a hole right through here. And you will see again when a dimension, I am dimensioning to those edges where my zero zero corner is. So, because that's where the guy out of the machine is going to measure from when he is inspecting to make sure that the hole is in the right location. So I'm keeping that same idea. Now another little trick I just wanted to show you is that if I create a uh, f four holes in each corner, like locating pins, that using a rectangle is actually a pretty neat way to do this. If I create a corner rectangle, and again, when I dimension everything, I dimension it up to that edge uh, that the guy is going to be using out on the shop floor to, to measure this. But the trick about using the rectangle is that when you go into your hole feature, you now have four points on each corner, which just makes it a lot easier to pick. You know, most of the times you will go in and just create a, a sketch point, and then you have to align them and dimension each one of them and make relations. So it's just a quick little tip to do this. Now, what I have here is exactly what the guy on the shop floor is going to use when he is going to measure this block. So I have kept kind of the same, you know, the same zero zero in the CAD out to the, to, the, to the shop. So that makes sense. 
Now, even if I take it a step further and I decide to create a 2D drawing from this, so we're going to do that. And you will see now you can actually bring in your dimensions from your, your model. Um, now you will see that they are, again, the same dimensions that the guy will be using to inspect this part. So what we actually now have done is not only in the CAD system have we established the zero, zero, and we're making sure that we're always dimensioning from those zero, zero edges on the manufacturing floor. We know that now the guy is going to be using those dimensions to inspect with, but also if we're sending it into an inspection later on, that he's using the exact same uh, dimensions. What this means is that if there ever is a change and you bring the three guys into one room, they all are kind of like working towards the same thing. So this is the point about Better Cat for Cam. One of the tips from the presentation is to use that zero zero corner. Make that a habit to uh, establish that. As always, I love your comments and suggestions down in the comment area. Give me a shout out. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.